Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and greatest episode of AMC's Fear the Walking Dead. It just dropped a few minutes ago. It just finished. I just finished watching it, and oh my goodness, I love it this episode. I possibly like this episode more than last week's episode, which I know said was my favorite episode of this season so far, but just bear with me. So before I go on and talk too much, of course, please be warned. Excuse me. This is a spoiler-filled episode review. If you're not cut up on Fear the Walking Dead by this episode or the past couple episodes, do not keep watching as I will be going into spoilers and plot details. Again, this is a spoiler-filled episode review, so you have been warned. Spoilers starting here on out, starting now. Oh, what a great episode. What a great episode. We got a villain's backstory. We saw a bunch of uh, ragtag characters grouping to get fighting together for survival. They came under assault by heavy artillery, and then they had to deal with hordes of the living dead. And then a character finally steps up only to meet with a bitter end. And now uh, they're trapped in a literally life or death situation. So it's, uh, pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. And then the show oddly ends on a glimmer of hope as well as we can only imagine that we see from the uh, uh, opposite from the other shore from the bank where uh, Charlie and Alicia ended up that they see John and Strand or at least John and or Strand so you know based on their happy reactions they clearly see somebody or somebody some something they like so that's promising oh what an episode what an episode you know what uh, this, you know, the past couple episodes uh, were very good, but last week's episode and this episode have by far been my all-time favorite. We have now have got plenty of zombie action. We've got great character moments and some awesome banter and tension between great, well-established characters. It is super, it was super fun to watch, and I loved how uh, this episode confirmed what I was suspicious of, is that Polar Bear, the dead, friendly truck driver that Luciana helped get his final beard in last week's episode knows the filthy woman because in last week's episode when he mentioned well there's at least one person but I don't want to see them or see her I thought oh my god he's talking about the filthy woman and sure enough she is after him she's after his whole operation or she destroyed his whole operation and I love the fact that basically what happened to this woman is what could have happened to Morgan if Morgan did not have a strong, basically a safety net of friends and allies. And that is the difference between Morgan and the filthy woman. They both had tragedy but fall upon them. They both lost people they loved. They both lost their minds, except Morgan came back into the fold thanks to a strong safety net of friends and allies and people who cared about him. This woman had absolutely no one and nothing after her husband's unfortunate death. And I think she resents the fact that she saw a bunch of friendly truckers trying to help people during the apocalypse and she hates and resents the fact that she and her husband got no such help at all again i see where she's coming from i just don't agree with the way she's going about it you know she wants to express herself and we should always express ourselves but do it in a non-violent non-killing way i mean she even had a sharp pointy stick just like morgan did for a couple seasons when it came to killing people piercing them right through the throat or through the chest or the chest or in her case her preferred method is using a captured wall and sicking it on someone. This woman is evil. Of course, she didn't always start that way and it's easy to sympathize with her, but now she is just evil and I can't wait for them to kill her. <laughs> or maybe she'll live a few more episodes or she'll live to the season finale and be the villain in the first half of season five, which we don't know. But this was such a great episode. Like I said, great, thrilling, exciting zombie ac action and uh, running sequences. Our characters are now trapped in a hospital. We've got some tension between Morgan and Jim. Jim and Sarah. Jim's being kind of a pain in the ass, although to be fair, he's just, he was a very sheltered survivor until recently, so it's not surprising. And then when he steps up and he kills his first walker, his fate is sealed. He's 
bitten in the back and now he's going to die and he's going to blame Morgan for it on his way out. And now all these characters are trapped in this hospital trying to figure out how the hell are they going to get out of there because they've got nobody on the ground yet and uh, Al is still trapped in the maintenance room. So a very exciting episode. I absolutely loved it. I love the fact that we had this uh, quick backstory for uh, the show's latest villain and I love the fact that uh, she seems so okay with what she's doing like she's unfazed by whatever she does whether she's killing someone or leaving them for dead to be killed by walkers she's completely unfazed by it and she always seems to have like this little smile or smirk on her face and it bugs the hell out of me <laughs> but the actress Tonya Pinkins is doing a great job as is everybody else on the show but especially her I mean uh, she I feel like her character got a lot of spotlight this week and I really like that so guys that's uh, my two cents on the show tonight what do you guys think did you love it hate it did you like this episode did you think it was awesome please feel free to sound off down below in the comments section I'd love to hear from everybody you may disagree with one another of course we're all entitled to our own opinions and that's fine just please keep it civil and be respectful of one another's beliefs and opinions. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel to uh, stay up to date on the final two episodes of the season. Next week's episode and then the week after that will be the big season finale and I'm sure we won't want to miss it. Have a great rest of the night guys. Thank you so much for watching and of course until next time may the force be with you.